Let me share my screen. OK, after that, I'll look into your problem. Sure, sure. So my dear friends, uh, you if you see my screen, what is the agenda for today? Agenda is we have to write some Java code and I want to run it on server. That's agenda. So this is the sixth, uh, second session of JSP Serverlet. Yesterday, uh, I had given you a little bit of introduction about web application, client side programming, server side programming. And uh, I explained to you uh, what is the directory structure, folder uh, structure of a typical Java based web application. And we talked about different folder of it. So today I'm going to uh, show you how you can create a you know Java program which can run on server. So normally Java program so far you are running in the editor, right? Remember, right click and run it. But today uh, I would show you how you can run a program uh, where inside the Tomcat, in Apache Tomcat. Do you understand the agenda? Yes, sir. So you want to write server side code. You want to, yeah, you want to write server side code, right? You want to write server side code, means Java code, server side Java code, which will execute on server, right? So, Normal Java code uh, will not execute on server, right? If you want your Java code should execute on server, you have to use concept of servlet. What concept? Servlet. So answer question is, what is a servlet? Answer is, servlet is a class file which allows servlet is class file which allows your Java code to execute on server. Make sense or you got confused? So what is a servlet? Servlet is a class which allows your Java code to execute on server. That's it. So, and one servlet, uh, one servlet, right? One servlet uh, does a specific task. One servlet, please, one servlet does one task. You can say like this. Mm -hmm. So you understand this much? Yeah. If you want to do five tasks, you have to create how many towel to servlet? Five servlet. And every servlet uh, will be mapped to the server with unique name. What is it? Every guys help me. Every mm -hmm. servlet will be mapped with unique name. Name. Uh, in other words, you can say URL pattern. Okay. So when you create a servlet, uh, you have to map with a unique name and using that name, you can call it. You can call a servlet with the help of its unique name given to. So what is the agenda? Agenda is I want to write some server side code and uh, when you call it, uh, it would, uh, you know, give you some response. So we have to make a servlet when you make a sorry when you uh, make a servlet and you can call it from the client side suppose i'm creating a servlet and my servlet uh, url pattern uh, name is fact what fact, fact. <laughs> and uh, when you call a servlet you have to mention the method also so which method you want to use get a post hmm? so you can use either get or post in this example i'm using get right after that i can use post fine so you'll make a request. When you make a request, uh, what, what do you say? You can say, hey, I want to access slash fact, right? And method equals to? Get. 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 And all both the information, this uh, URL pattern and this method will go in the header of the request. Make sense? I hope agenda is clear to everybody. Agenda yes. is we have to design a servlet and that servlet will map with the URL pattern and using that URL pattern, we can access it from the browser anybody have any question query so far uh, is clear yeah clear so if you want to make a servlet you know you have to make a public class public class servlet uh, class name could be anything okay uh, fact servlet but you can give any name right mm -hmm. and this class uh, you want this class should inherit all the feature of servlet right 
then you have to extend HTTP. You know, in inheritance, inheritance basically add existing capability into new class, right? So now this class is rolled. I told you in GSP, in in core Java, every subclass is a type of superclass. Clear? Can I say? Facts. Yeah. Rolled is a rolled, right? Answer is yes. Are you following me? If you want to make any class serverlet, what what you need to do? You have to extend which class? HTTP serverlet. And in this, uh, you can override this method. Do get your do post. And you can perform uh, some specific task into it. That's it. This is the template for a serverlet. My my dear friends, question no. So yesterday you have seen how to create a web project. That is clear, and I'm doing on top of it. So today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a serverlet. Serverlet is a class file. Are you following me? No. So okay. class file you have to create in SRC main. This is done by us. Yes. Okay. Actually, that's fine. Normally, it should be SRC. I don't know how it comes SRC, but it's okay. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay, right. In your case, it may be SRC only, but it is SRC main Java. That's fine. This is all about source folder. So right click on it. Hey, what I'm going to do? I'm yes. going to make a serverlet. Right click on it. New. You know how to make class file? Kill you. You know core Java very very well. Okay. And here you can give the package name com dot jubico hmm? dot serverlet. Hey, you know what I'm doing? This much I am creating package, and I can give a name to my class. What fact serverlet? Anybody have any question query? No. Done. Hey, Sajna, you know this much? Where is? Yes, you may be talking. Oh. Uh, what about other people? Do you understand? If you want to make a servlet, what do you need to do? Extends. Hmm? HTTP servlet. You see my style of coding. Yep. And after that, you have to override which method? Do get your do post. I, I want to use do get. I can see my style of coding. Do get, and you can press Control Space Bar. Wow. Hello. Hmm? My this is servlet, right? And I told you you can delete this. And uh, as I told you, you have to give a unique name to this servlet. You, you can give unique name by using uh, here uh, mapping that is called web servlet. Which which notation we have to use for this web servlet? And here you can give unique unique name to it. Sajana, what name you want to give to this servlet? Any name you can give. I am giving fact. Okay, but it should be unique. Anybody have any question query? What this notation is doing? This is just assigning what unique name to the servlet hmm? oh now in this servlet uh, we have we are overriding do get method method overriding you have learned it uh, in in oops concept so this method is already defined in http servlet and you are modifying it as per requirement so first parameter of this method is supposed to take input from the yes. client, right? What? This is used for what purpose? This is used to used to take inputs from the client. Bank. And what what about this? This is used to send response to the client. So this is used to send back response from the server from the server very nice from the server to the client so not server so it should be server a this is clear man in this example i am not taking any input from the client i am not taking but i will take it soon this is the response this response we have to send where this Please. response. So first of all, when you call a servlet and servlet uh, can take data from the request and send uh, you know response back to the caller. 
So in the response, first of all, you have to mention set content type. Content type means what kind of data you are sending in the response. So I want to send TXT HTML, Sajna. TXT HTML means either I will send text data or HTML data into it, right? If you send XML, you have to write application slash XML. If you want to send JSON data, you can write uh, application slash JSON, right? Content type means what kind of data I want to send. A content type means what? Kind of, data. kind of data we wanted to send inside this response. I hope I'm making myself clear. Yes. So clear. And second thing is this response contains how many part? Two part, header and body. In response, body you want to write the data. Your data will go in the into the response of the body, right? So you say hey response, can you give me the point reference of your body? So there is a method get writer. Get writer will return you what? Uh, reference of body. reference of the body. I don't know. This is clear or not? Yes. No. Yes, this yes. response contains two part header and body. So you are saying, hey, response, give me the address of the body. You say, why, why, why do the address of the body? Because I want to write data into it. So what you want to write? You want to write. Uh, you can use a method print ln. I want to write inside the body, right? Hey body, I want to write inside with you using print ln method. What you want to write? Uh, H1. Hello, Mr. <coughs> I'm just writing HTML data. Hello, Mr. Servalet. If you got this much, you have to say I got it. Otherwise, I say you say I totally you don't understand. Can you repeat from, from line number 25 one more time? Okay, the here, let me make a picture representation that would be more clear. And I'm telling you, if somebody is, uh, you know, not asking any questions and you are, you are not getting anything, I'll, I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. If you don't understand, ask questions. Don't show mercy on me. Simple as that. <laughs> mm. So, uh, what is the request? It will come from the client. Response will go to the uh, from server to the client, right? So this response will have uh, how many part? Two part. Two part. So let me show you header and body. In header you write metadata, and in body you write actual data, which you want to send uh, from server to client, right? So this is your body part. So 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 so. In 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 what in in header, I said I want to set content type. Content type is uh, either I will send text data or HTML data. That's fine. This I am setting as a content type inside header. But in body, right? I want to write something. So what I would say, hey body, give me your address. So how I'm uh, returning it? You say response dot get writer. When you do this. This will return what? Address of this body, response body. And this I'm going to hold in a variable that is which type of variable? Print writer. Hmm? You got it or are you confused? Like this I am fetching it and this address I am assigning to the PW. PW. So uh, in my case, uh, this is body. Or you can use body as well. Hey, who asked this question? Me. Me means? Mahesh. Or Mahesh, Mahesh. Mahesh, you tell me, you got now? Yeah. The response that get right, it will, it will return you the address of the body. So body is pointing to what? Response body, right? This portion. Now you are saying, hey body dot print ln meaning is hey body i want to write data i want to write data inside you so body dot print ln what you want to write inside the body h1 hey so you need to understand uh, when this line will execute then what happen mr mahesh when you write this line then this message will be written inside body body, body. You got the idea? What yes, I want sir. to say? 
if you write more like body dot print and again same thing will be uh, that new line will be appended in the last oh nice so once you get the reference of body using get writer using this body you can write uh, data again and again again and again again and again where inside the response body of the response mahesh this is clear to you now yes sir so my servlet is done now how we can invoke it you run it first but you know you know how to how to run your project clear so to run your project my dear friends whatever html page you have you just run it hmm? or you, you run your html page right you don't bother about servlet now you know how to run a project yeah. right click on it and do do it okay so for every project right what would be the common for every project this much is common yahan tak http colon local host port number and project name that is called context path or application name slash here you have to write the ul pattern of the servlet what name you have given fact. Fact. fact if you make enter what response i should get see yes, hello sir. mr servlet so this part is clear to you you have to say yes otherwise say no let me make a diagram for you okay the like guy told you in this uh, which portion is fixed for every request up to this fix it's not going to be changed right done so when you uh, when you make a call so by default when you hit something in the browser which request you make get get right which method we use method equals to get right yeah so as per this it is going to connect with my servlet say yes yep hello yeah oh yeah you see the photo yep so why it is coming over here sajna because it is matching with the name hmm? this name and this name is matched not applying yes and uh, after that uh, you know whatever you are writing in the response uh, it is coming back uh, so and uh, finally it is going to render over here if you got it you have to say i got it otherwise say i totally super and duper confuse no oh. confusion right you are writing this in the response same thing bang 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 you think like this huh? then i don't know this portion is clear or not Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody have any question query? Otherwise, I, I can jump to the next. So how do you make so, Java code with the uh, HTML like on the server? Yeah, in servlet, you in servlet you can embed your HTML code, but it is not best practice. This is bad programming, right? Okay, no problem. So another thing is, can we like in Java code? Uh, here I want to do some change, and you see. can i put a loop on it of course you can do it right java code hmm? i'm just writing into this loop so what happened sir if i'm saying x through 1 x less than 10 right x plus please oh mr and you can append this variable you know how to append it yeah we are we are expert in java yes or no yep e what i did i put this into loop so what happened it is going to write hello mr servlet when hello mr servlet x x equals to 1 it is going to write into response uh, how many times 10 times if you make this call again what happen can you see this hello so yeah. this servlet is making your html dynamic or not let me tell you this servlet makes your html page dynamic or not you have to answer to me yes Answer is yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Then, anybody have any confusion? Are you? You? No, oh, sorry, it's closed. My my bad luck. So do you understand that this much? Hello. Yes, sir. This is server side. Okay. Uh, next thing which I want to do is see. I want to make a program, and you have to help me for that. What program is? I want to make one HTML page. Which page? HTML or JSP? Both should be same for you, right? You can say, yeah, yeah. Tell me, right? 
I want to make a HTML page. Uh, you want to make HTML or GSP? You would say whatever you want to do, right? That's fine. But today, I don't want to make it complex. I want to make G, uh, HTML page. So what is the what is my intention? My intention is, I'll make a form, right? And uh, and that HTML form you can enter your num, right? And here uh, I can and uh, put a text for it. And after it, uh, I would uh, what I would. I would uh, make here a button. Button. So you need to understand what is my intention. Button is there. In this button, uh, you can write uh, compute. Right. So when you click on the compute button, whatever number you enter over here, right. So I won't just want to do a re reverse of it. Right. So. I, I want when you click on the GUI compute button, your request to should go to a server late. And so it should do what? So it should take this input and after processing, my server late should able to uh, reverse the number. So what output you are expecting? Three, yeah, uh, when you are sending this data, this HTML page, right? HTML form, you know, will send data to whom? Sort of late. Sort of late. And so will take data from the form and uh, then it can apply the business logic to reverse it. So output is four, three, two, one. And this output uh, you want to print today, you want to print in the servlet itself, right? Tomorrow, I, I want to print it on some other page. Clear? I, I don't want to, I'll, let's do in two part, okay? First of all, uh, let's do this much. Problem of a statement is clear, or shall I explain you more, one more time? So you have to make a two thing: one HTML form with this GUI, nice GUI, and second we have to make a servlet. And when you click on the compute button after entering the number, this number should go to the servlet, and servlet should do processing. And this is the agenda. Sajana, problem statement is clear to you or not? Where she is? The reply is not prompt today. Could you repeat it one more time? Why? I just wanted to know. You are not listening to me? No, I am. I just, I was on mute. That's why you didn't. I forgot to unmute myself. Okay. Again, I'm saying, uh, I'm going again, but try to understand. First time and ask question immediately, right? So requirement is uh, we have to make a HTML form like this. And in this HTML form, uh, user is supposed to enter number. And when he clicks on the compute button, your request should go to the server late. And servlet will take this number one, two, three, four, and uh, it can uh, apply some logic and number will be uh, number will be reversed. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. After reversing it, Sowlet can print the value uh, over here, right? Sowlet, what do? Sowlet will uh, reverse the number. After that, reverse the number and write. Uh, write. Sowlet reverse number and uh, can write. Uh, will write. Will write uh, result as HTML uh, into response yeah, do you understand what my servlet is going to do first first thing servlet will take input from the servlet will take input from where from html form second uh, servlet will reverse number third this is the this is the thing uh, should be done by servlet. E Sajina, what this servlet is supposed to do? Three things. Servlet will take input from the HTML form. Servlet will reverse the number. Servlet will write the result as a HTML uh, into response, and then that response will come to the browser and print it. So if you understand the problem of statement, uh, can I move ahead? So, Sajina, this is clear. Or, uh, if it is not clear, I am ready to explain it again. Clear. But but okay. What about other people? 
Yes, good. No thing is, you can note down somewhere. Okay, I'm I'm going to take some action. If you guys, if, because I'm very serious now. Okay, too serious. So so your part is asking the questions. If I'm teaching something and you are not understanding anything, right? So let me know. Yes, sir. And please do not allow me to go ahead unless and until things are clear to you. I'm not in hurry. No mercy. No mercy. Because I know what I'm teaching, right? That's important. Okay. So first of all, uh, let's make a form, right? Ready. So if you want to make a form in HTML, see my style of doing. I have to make a HTML file. So how? New HTML file. You know how to make HTML file? Yes. Form uh, file name could be anything, right? Num uh, num dot stm dot num dot html. Not a big deal. You see my style of coding? Yeah. And title you can uh, here if you want to use Bootstrap as you did last time. So whatever in the head, head to head, copy everything blindly over here. Why? Because 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 I want to use Bootstrap. So a you can uh, you can how you can run this page? HTML page run on server. I am designing it and running it same time. Sajna, you understand this much? What? We are designing it and it running it right now. It is blank. Why blank? Because we haven't uh, wrote anything in it, right? So I can run it. And my uh, my title of the page is computation. You can give any name to it. Computation. Okay. And uh, if you uh, you if you if you run it. Hey, I'm to run it. I'm using external browser, right? Because I'm fan of it. It is blank so far. Only computation is in the title. Oh, what I need to do? I need to make header. Please help me. If you want to make header, you can use which tag? Header HTML5 header tag. And here you can use style in line CSS and you can mention the height 30 px. And uh, you can use background color. Background color uh, you can use of your choice. I'll tell you how. I'm using blue. And can you see this? How good it is looking? Very, very bad. Okay. So what you can do? You right click on this and inspect. And this color is showing, and here you can use color picker. Okay. And and you can make make it of your choice. So whatever color you want to use, you can easily use it. I hope I'm making myself clear. This is yes. called designing. So copy the color code, right? And go and change over here. Hmm. If you paste your color over here, it's hand. Here, yeah, right? Save it. It's clear, sir. Yeah. After it, what I want to do? Like you, you, you want to uh, write everything in the center. So we can use division tag. Which tag? Division. And here we can use a class. Class means ready-made CSS offered by Bootstrap. And I want to use container. This is doing what, man? This will align whatever you write in the middle. So right now we don't have anything. Okay. I want to use a pick, right? Because I'm going to do mathematics. So let's make like some mathematics uh, formula. Huh? You know formula, uh, mathematics formula. I'm just taking mathematics formula. Uh, I need the image for it, right? So, oh, math formula. I can, it's looking very bad. Okay. So we can take some no, pick. I don't know. I was expecting some nice pick, but okay. Let's take this. Oh, nice. No problem. Hmm, don't don't you? I don't have time. Let's take this one. So how to download photo? You know, save as. I hope you know, right? Save as uh, on desktop. So I need this photo. I'm not going to teach you how to download it. Okay, you just keep it in web app. Yeah, and this photo you want to put over here. Which tag we have to use? Image. Hmm? So what we can see? Photo. You can give the pardon. How about we give the address of the photo? You can do whatever you want to do. You can put the address as well, right? It is up to you. You can put the address. It will work equally. Can you see this? Wow, nice. Very bad photo. I need to just put height using inline CSS because you know it's too much. I just want to make 20, uh, 200 pixel, right? So, how it look like? Let's see. 
now it's fine right Cling. and e this is clear or shall i explain you something in this it's clear wow next thing is like here actually in html there is a form tag what is this form tag is used to send data from client to server what this tag is used to huh? send data from client to server hmm? and you can use html this is html command how i did it select it a uh, control shift forward slash what control shift forward slash to make a comment and e inform here you can write action in action you can give the name of the servlet which you want to invoke so when uh, when you submit this form which servlet you want to invoke right can i use the same servlet fact one allow me i can yeah. do my coding into it so i am going to write this name sajana so which servlet will be called when you click on the button when you submit your form fact servlet will be called when you submit the form the name of the servlet which name is fact will be called that's nice in this i want to make a label what is a label even i don't know La you know label right what enter number okay so let's do that can you see this enter number if you want to uh, use some horizontal line you know horizontal line hr you can use this tag so this is creating a horizontal line right and number is there after that uh, you want to make an input field sajna input input means box so this is input object type equals to text and you can give the name to the box what name you want to give some a number right uh better to give like you know num that's fine so we have a input field here e this is the html tag give me a second just a second please just a second hello guys uh let's start hello Hey, hey. I'm asking ten times, right? Did this you want to say, na? You especially for you. Do you understand the meaning of this? This is the input HTML tag, right? Which is used to make a box, right? Like this. So input type equals to I want to make a box and name given to box is num. Other people just wanted to know. If you need to repeat something, let me know. Is it possible that you can put a comment on the top of it? So, mm. where mm. comment? This one, I can do that. So but, but, yeah, yeah. This is creating a box. Now it's clear. And box yes. name is num. So you are mm. creating an object. Everything is an object, right? This label is an object. This input field is an object, right? If you more, if you want to make this input field, uh, you know, beautiful, right? This is yeah. not looking beautiful, right? If you want to make it beautiful, here you can use. This is not mandatory. You can use class equals to form control. What? Form to make it what? To make beautiful. it beautiful. Let's run it and see how it looks like. Can you see this? Hello. Oh, like this. Oh, nice. Anybody have any question query? First one is creating label, right? Like this. And this this object input uh, type equals to text name. Did what is the name of the box? Num. Or num. You can give a p num, right? P num is the box. And this is uh, used to apply the CSS, and it is coming from Bootstrap four. I hope I'm making myself clear. Hmm? After it, uh, I want to uh, make a button right below to it. What do I want to make button. So in Bootstrap, if you want to make a button, you can use button tag. Which tag? Button tag. Button tag. And here you can write type equals to submit. Please don't forget it. Button is one of the object, right? Uh, and type equals to submit. And uh, what label, whatever label you want to give on the button, you can write in between, like computation. Are you following me? Let's see how it looks like. Button. I would say. 
creating button. So let's see. If you do like this, it will not look beautiful. Can you see this? This button looking beautiful? Not at all. No. So if you want to make a beautiful, here you can use class equals to. Again, same oh. thing. And here we have button. A, you are not supposed to uh, remember it. Copy paste. Class equals to button. And you can write button hyphen, uh, you know, a primary. There is many things. You can write button uh, hyphen primary, button hyphen danger. No need to remember. We can Google it, okay? So you see, after doing this much, how it's looking? Like this. Okay. And uh, if you want to give sorry gap between two, both the component, you can use BR. So this is the HTML uh, form design, right? I would before moving to next, I would want I want you should ask questions, right? Next thing, I want to make this box a little bit. It's bigger. Can you see this? It's very big, right? No. If you if you want to make it smaller. Then here you can use style and you can give the width in right. percentage, right? Or you can write, uh, I want to make it of 300 pixel width of the box. So you see? Oh, yeah. Or you can write bigger, like 500, something like that. It's clear or you totally got confused? Clear. Yeah. Done. Um, now I'm not going to do anything. I'm just asking questions, right? So, my dear friends, my form is ready, okay? When you click on the button, then your form will be submitted and whatever data you will type in the text it will be available to whom five yes, if you sir. type it right it will be available to the fact oh. servlet servlet which name is fact so if i run my code what should happen refresh it and when you click it it will go to the servlet and servlet is saying can you see this hey, how servlet is able to call because when you click it i am when you click on the button you are making call to the servlet and this outlet is doing what? It is just uh, printing hello, Mr. Sowlet, because you, you wrote logic over there. So okay. how your HTML form is connecting with Sowlet? Using which tag? Action. I, so action I, is used for what purpose? Action is yes. used to uh, connect this HTML uh, page uh, to Sowlet. Hmm? So Anybody have any question? Pardon? No more. Can you come close to Mike? Okay. What happened to that number six when you uh, do the compute? Is it going oh, to man. the? Oh man, oh man. Still, we have to write logic on it. This number is going to the servlet and this servlet is ignoring it. Okay. Uh, so now what I need to do? This number is going to which servlet? You would say this number will go to the servlet, which name is fact. Then we have to go to the servlet, which name is fact. Can you see this? And here, your number, whatever number you are typing over here, where? In the form, right? That number will come to the request parameter. And this number, how you can fetch it? Request dot method is there, get parameter. You say, hey, request, I need a, my, my, my number. So what, is the, what is the parameter name? Pnum. This is, the, this is the name which you have given in the box. So whatever name you have given here, right? same name you have to give at the time of reading the data in the server but this name and that name must be matched it is case sensitive okay so what you need to do enum so it will return a string what man a string and this string you have to convert into integer so in java i don't know you know or not right there is a there is a class integer and you can use a method static method parse int and you can pass it what it will do man it will convert your your input is coming as a string, right? Like this. So this is going to convert your six as a integer. Am I right? Yes. yes. Done. Uh, what do you want to do with this number? Somebody saying, I want to compute fact. Uh, sorry, I want to reverse it. Am I right? Yeah. So servlet is able to uh, read the number from the form, right? After that, you have to reverse it. What is logic of it? You know it, right? I'm not going to teach you the logic. You you can try, okay? You would say, hey number, continue until and until you are greater than zero. Am I right? Yeah. So number greater than zero. So what logic is? Here you can uh, store the result. Say yes. Yeah, in the string. So what logic is, man? Like suppose your number is coming uh, one, two, three, four, right? So what do you want? You want to take the last digit, right? Hmm. 
So how you can take the last digit? You have to take modulus operator with 10. It will return? Last, last digit. Last digit, okay. Last digit. And what you want to do with this digit? This last digit you want to add. Result, whatever result we have in result, you want to add last digit. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. After it, after, uh, you know, extracting it, whatever digit you have, right, here, you have to cut last number. If you want to cut last number, you have to do num equals to num by 10. What 10 yes. does? Well, when you divide yeah. number by 10, it will return the quotient, right? 1, 2, 3. So in yeah. first iteration, when number is greater than 0, you are taking a remainder. What it will give you first time? This four. will give you 4, right? And when you come to this, uh, you know, what it will return? You are dividing by 10, it will return only quotient, right? So you have this much. And this number you will take and go to the while loop. Hey, while loop, 1, 2, 3 is greater than 0? Yeah. Yes. Then again, you'll come, it will give you the another uh, remainder, right? That is 3. three. And when you come to this, again divide by 10 and 3 will be gone, 12. And this 12 you will take and come to 12 is greater than 0, right? Then it, you will come over here and last digit, am I right? It will come 2. When you come again, divide by 10, it will only one, one, 1 would be there. 1 is greater than 0, condition true. And here when you take a remainder uh, with 1, it will come 1, right? And 1 divided by 10, any guess? 0, if you know mathematics, okay? Question. <laughs> And yeah. uh, if none, it will come to the while loop, num is greater than zero. Condition false. My job is done. So till then, I'm able to store through four, three, two, one in this, right? I got the opposite, uh, reverse of it. So what you can do here? Here you can write result is what, man? Result is you can append it. Make sense? See? So what it will show you now? Any guess? One. It is going to show you the factorial of it. This is a logic, sorry, reverse, reverse, right? Reverse of number is, you can write it, okay? What, nice. Uh, reverse of mm -hmm. given number is, any guess? Okay. I make you confused or you got it? Let me show yeah. you how to end. So here, refresh it. I'm going to add one, four, five, six, seven, right? You see the output? You entered one, four, uh, five, six, and it is coming eight, seven, six, five, four, one. My dear friends, I do not so, want to extend session. I want you go and do only this much and type everything yourself and just run this program at least two times. All right. Okay, follow me. Because, because, you know, if you talk about speed and all in one day i can teach you many things all together i don't want to do that i want whatever i have done so far you try and after that we can jump to the next topic so i'm just keeping my uh, session here next topic i will teach you in next session thank you Nayendra. thank you to you as well